Well folks, we're heading back to the security realm with another camera install. Smart, and today we're doing another install on a security camera. This is my second camera from Solium. Um, I did uh, one a little while ago. It was a solar powered camera, similar to kind of how this is, but completely different, right? Completely different. That was a PTZ camera that was solar powered and battery operated. This is also a solar powered battery operated camera. Uh, just the same, it is also uh, Wi-Fi, so you have to do you do have to make sure that you're within your Wi-Fi range. However, you don't have to worry about basically powering this or at all. I mean, no, not even worry about recharging it because it has a built-in or attached solar panel. So this one's going to be a little bit different than I think. Well, obviously quite a bit different than the last one. But we're going to bring it in. We're going to take everything out of the box, take a peek at what comes with it, and then we're going to install it. Okay, so as you can see, it's still actually wrapped in plastic. I should have brought my knife over. That's what I should have done. Just get the plastic off of it. There we are. All right, so, uh, you know, we, around the box you have the name, then you have, you know, how basically information, IP66 waterproof, two-way audio built in. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, the S100 camera, by the way. That's the model, if you didn't see from the title. Okay, I'm gonna push it toward you so you see, see it. So we have the manual. We do have a uh, micro USB cable. I'm assuming that's for if you do want to charge up and whatever it falls short of the solar capability. Uh, looks like we have an antenna here. That'd be probably a Wi-Fi antenna, right? We have mounting hardware. Uh, anchors plus screws so we have that we actually have the mounting pole itself um, you can attach it both directions and we actually have the camera I don't know why that's green up top that's kind of interesting looks like it just it rubs right off I don't know why that was green oh I bet I know probably the back yep, back of the manual rubbing on it from shipping you can see where the antenna attaches so that just screws on like so. And then the antenna can actually be pointed to. On the actual bottom of the camera is where the mount comes in. It's just a quarter 20 mount. It just screws on. Is that actually? All right, so that's actually a collar that you can bring down. So it's best to probably screw it into the actual camera like that. Get the camera down. Yep, where it's tight. And then, then bring this collar up to it. There's a rubber gasket and that kind of locks it onto the piece. Then you have your articulation. And then this guy right here, this metal collar here, is what actually should lock it into place. So as we lock that down, it then uh, puts friction on the ball mount and then we can point it. So that is what we're uh, What we're gonna basically do install Not too difficult uh, essentially in this case. It's just gonna be four um, Screws depending on where you're installing it. I'm gonna be installing it into wood So I do not need the anchors. I can just use the actual screws themselves um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera back off of here But yeah, it's just a quarter 20 so essentially, first step is going to be getting this installed. Second step is going to be attaching the camera. Um, before we go do this, though, we are going to actually set the camera up inside. And then we're going to take it out and actually install it. So first step we're going to do, um, we're going to do this uh, right now, is set the camera up so it attaches to my Wi-Fi capability uh, properly inside. Then we're going to go outside and install this. And then we're going to attach this to this point it and go through make sure that it actually works uh, functions properly through the app so let's get this thing booting up so reset power on the bottom here let's see what we got 
So there's actually just a big rubber gasket that pulls all the way out. USB and an SD card. Now, you are gonna need to provide your own micro SD card. So I'm gonna have to grab one of those here in a second. And then we do actually have a power switch. You can see that little black switch there. It literally switches on or off. I'm gonna get a memory card real quick and then we'll actually start the install process. Okay, I'm just gonna insert a eight gigabyte micro SD card because it's one that I have sitting over there that I'm not using. Uh, let's see, it looks like it goes this direction. Should only go in one way. Go down to it clicks. All right, so she clicked into place, so now we're in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and kick the power on. The camera is now ready to begin pairing. So there we go. So I'm gonna set that up here right here. We're gonna get the camera situated so we can actually do the, the app. Okay, so we have the Solium app, Solium Plus. If you just search the Solium in the store, we'll hit open. So would like to send you notifications, that's fine. Sure, we'll allow while using the app. I'd like to access your photos. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. That way we can download to my, basically from the camera to my, my photo album. So, the camera is now ready to begin pairing. I'm gonna click the read user agreement. I've already done this once before. If you, you can actually click on the link there to do it. We're gonna hit register. Uh, email address is first. I'm gonna do that quick. So I put in my email address. I'll select the I read. Uh, read user agreement and hit next. Uh, now we have a password as well as the picture or the code key essentially, right? Uh, let me uh, put in that information. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my password put in as well as the code. I'm going to hit register. All right, now I have to go through my, the email and uh, invalidate through the link. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'll be right back. So this is what the email looks like. And you just click this link right there and it should take us to validate successfully. And so then we can actually go back to the app itself and hit login. We can put in our email address and password. It's already gonna actually save from when we had just registered it and hit login. And you can uncheck to remember if you don't want it to. So tap to view family, tap to device, okay, it tells you information on what to do. We're gonna add, um, let's see, your family name. Um, I'm just going to put it home. Hit next. Uh, I'm not going to put in my address right now. We're going to hit add device. All right, set up a Wi Fi device. The camera, yep, we do. Hit yes, it's saying that. Device's name, we're going to just say uh, back door. That's what we're going to call it in home. Now we're going to actually put the password in. Let me do that real quick. So as you can see, it sees my Wi-Fi. I put the password in. Now we're going to create a QR code. And that QR code now, uh, we'd like to connect devices. That's okay. Now I'm going to use this QR code and actually point it in front of the camera. And to be honest, uh, there is the plastic still on the front of the camera. I'm going to take that off first. How about that? That way I can actually see what's going on here with the QR code. So I think what happened is it actually went so far to the point where it turned itself off. So I turned it off and I'm turning it back on. The camera is now ready to begin pairing. And so how I'm gonna do this is um, I'm gonna take the QR code and hold it four inches from the face of the device and hold it there until- Pairing information received. All right, so basically what it was is we, because we took so long because I'm videoing this just, yep, it is what it is. So it's now taking the, the information, it's it should attach itself. And then we got the information here. Camera ex installed successfully. Fully charge the camera at first use. So now we are online. If we actually click on the camera here, you can actually see, there we are. You can actually see the, the box there. Um, there's my hand, it's obviously got a little bit of a lag to it. But we are good. Um, Tells you all the information of what everything means. I'm not going to go through that. Obviously, if you do this, you can see the information for yourself. Well, while we have the app open here, we're going to do this real quick. So we're going to go ahead and go into, like, you're going into live view. And then we're going to hit the gear section up here. And this is where we're going to actually make sure that we have everything good. So memory card, we have to format on that. Um, format SD card. So I'm going to click format. Format. That way it's good to go. And we have everything cleared off it that doesn't need to be on it. So now we're at 7.4 out of the 8 gigs, obviously, because of the formatting. 
image flip we have normal uh, looks like you probably do mirror or mirror and rotate if you need to change it because you flipped it upside down or whichever scene mode normal backlight compensation night vision highlight dynamic i'm going to keep it on normal for now uh detection sensitivity i'm going to lower this a little bit because i always get too many things at least in my backyard usually active time i'm going to actually take this up to 30 seconds i'd rather have longer clips than shorter clips uh, power frequency we are in the 60 hertz led indicator um on or off um I'm going to keep it on. That way you know if it's actually recording or not. Synchronize time. Go ahead and... Sure, we'll do that. Synchronize with my phone. Device name. ID. All the information there. Firmware update. Let's check the firmware real quick. Firmware is up to date. So we are good to go. Basically, we're re fully ready to actually uh, utilize it and put it into place. Uh, cloud service. Um, you can actually get a free trial of their cloud service if you'd like. Or if you purchase it. I wonder if they allow me to do that. So 30 days is $1.99, 180 is $10.99, 360 is $21.99. So that's basically for a year is 22 bucks a year if you'd like to use the cloud. So I'm going to keep it on internal memory only um, for now. And then if we want to try the cloud service, we can do that right there and do the free, well, I can, in all reality, we can click free trial. Oh, there it is. Free trial is on. So with that gate and that, uh, with that said... We're gonna go ahead and install and mount this baby. Okay, so unfortunately because of this time of year it gets dark really fast. So I got lights and a headlamp on. But basically what I'm doing is if you watch my other video, I attached the other camera actually, essentially right here. And so I'm kind of going for that same, um, same viewpoint. So in this case, uh, if you actually look how it mounts, so it actually points up. I'm gonna mount this guy right here on the face so that way I can see around my driveway that basically comes down around the back of my house. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this headlamp on too and I'm not going to talk, I'm going to install it real quick. Oh. Okay. So as before, and you can see the lights of the camera actually on, I have the 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 knob here all the way down so as much threading as exposed as I can get it and now I can go ahead and slowly take my time and get this guy where I want it and the point of this threading obviously is to lock it in place but at the same time so let's say if that's that's the hard point there right and then we just take that and lock it into place like that with the that just like we did before and then we can loosen up here Point it how we want it, and then tighten that down. And I'm going to retighten this to make sure it's exactly nice and snug. Once you get it exactly where you want, just make sure everything is nice and tight, and we should be set. So that's that. Let's check out the app and see what she looks like. Okay, so we have the app here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the device, which the lights just came on up there, and you can see what we're seeing there. So essentially where I want it is, uh, it's basically pointed exactly where I want it. So I can see some, if somebody comes around the back of my house and towards my garage. Now I can see it. So that's that. Fully installed, fully set up, definitely working on the app, so it's connected to Wi-Fi good where I have it placed. So time will tell how well it works and uh, <clears throat> what the footage looks like. So with that said, if you'd like to find out what happens in the end in this video, definitely watch for the link below or at the end of this video. I will post a, a, a video on my Tech Goods channel for my finalized review, my full review, but that typically comes at least a couple weeks from now. So I like to have at least a couple good weeks of using the, uh, the product before I create an actual full review of it. Uh, for those of you that have watched it, sometimes it's longer than that. Uh, it all depends on the product, but it also depends on life. So, that said, guys, um, thank you to Slime for allowing me to do another uh, video for you. I really did like the first product, so if you have ch uh, a chance to check that out, I will put those links in the description at the end and at the end as well. Um, so, that's probably going to go pretty close to how this is going to work. 
to be honest, the setup was exactly the same. I did set up a new email for this one so that I could go through the entire pro setup process again. So that's why we did the full setup rather than me having an account already. Um, uh, so basically I did this one as fresh. If you were gonna add, you would just log into your account and just go up into the menu and hit add device. So with that said, if you have any other questions, please comment below or head over to techcooch.com and you can email me directly. Please subscribe to the channel, share the video, like it if you can for me. I'd appreciate it. Any thumbs up you can give me. That said, please come back for another video install here on Geeksmart and uh, definitely head over to TechGooch to watch all the fun reviews of all the products that I've installed on Geeksmart. So, stuff constantly happening. Uh, that said, I did just use a impact driver in this case because I knew that I was going into some fairly soft material that I have out there. However, if it is harder wood or something, you may have to use a drill bit prior to dr putting the screws in, or definitely if you're using an anchor, you do have to drill that out. So just be mindful. That's kind of the two tools you'll need. You don't need to have an impact driver. You can actually just do everything with the drill. I just prefer this. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking to the end. And as always, we'll see you next time. See you soon.